Thursday. And good news, we got power last night. I'm in the kitchen. Behind me is a big grocery haul. So today I went out and did our post outage, post power outage grocery haul. And I'm going to give you a glimpse of that. Power came on at 7.15 last night. We are so grateful. It was almost four full days without power. And plenty of our fellow Memphians are still without power. So hoping and praying to get everyone restored soon. But we slept really well last night with air conditioning and just all the conveniences that come with having power in the Western world. It makes you really appreciative and grateful for what we have. So happy about that. So this morning I got up and I was so happy. I had my grocery list. This is the grocery list that I had put together um, Saturday before the storm came. I put together this grocery list. This past Sunday I was going to go do a big grocery shop, go to Whole Foods and the Kroger across the street from the Whole Foods and get everything for kind of summertime eating. And I, so I had a whole grocery list all planned. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went from Sunday through Wednesday just kind of getting by on food from the vegan restaurant where I'm working now and just whatever we had on hand because I did not want to stock the refrigerator that we were running on intermittent generator power. So now we have power. And interestingly enough, I just got home from the grocery store about 1 o'clock and a storm started rolling through, like thunder, lightning, and it started with hail. I took a little bit of video of this storm. And the power flipped off twice. And I was like, oh my goodness, I just bought all these groceries to restock the house. But, knock on wood, knocking on the kitchen island there, knock on wood, power's on, it only flipped a couple times. So I'm going to show you what I got in this grocery haul, this post-outage haul. And like I said, I'm stocking up for some summertime eating. Simon and I are really digging like big salads, like substantial healthy salads. So what I did is I got this cookbook. Isa Chandra Moscovich, the fabulous queen of vegan cooking. Her seasonings, her flavors are gorgeous. And this is her healthy cookbook, Appetite for Reduction. So after eating like camp food and too much restaurant food, we are totally ready for tons of produce, salads, healthy eating. So we're doing the whole fat, whole foods, vegan eating at home. I'll show you what I bought for mostly recipes from this cookbook, and then I'll be back to show you our first healthy, home-cooked dinner since the storm rolled through. I have the list of recipes that I shopped for. Hello. I have the list of recipes that I shopped for. All these groceries will allow us to make a chickpea quinoa salad with a homemade balsamic vinaigrette, and that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight, and I'll show you what that is. It's a real simple recipe, and I'll show you how you can do it on your own and even give you some links down below to make your own delicious vegan balsamic vinaigrette and make this easy salad. Lots of variations on it as well. A potato and corn salad, a sushi salad, a goddess nequas salad, and also a recipe from High Carb Hannah to make her cheddar broccoli soup in the pressure cooker. So that's what all these groceries are for. Also a few extra treats and just things that I refer to as staples that we always have in the house. Okay, you ready for a look? I'm going to show you what we got for the groceries. Then I've got to get all of the cold stuff put away into the fridge in the freezer. And at 2 o'clock I have booked myself with my birthday money from my sweet mother, I booked myself a massage at Midtown Massage, which is just around the corner from our house. 
And man, after starting restaurant work, which is on your feet, some of my, sh my shifts are like seven hours. I know people work longer shifts, harder jobs, but for me, I'm kind of going from housewifing to uh, being on my feet for a six, seven hour shift, so my body's acclimating to that. And I've been doing a lot of shifts at the restaurant lately. And we've had all the added stress of running and getting gas, running the generator, hot house, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying not to complain too much. I'm very grateful we have power. It was four days and, you know, life is good. But a massage is going to feel fabulous this afternoon. And I'm also fixing my favorite lunch. You will see when I show you the groceries, I got the curried tofu salad from Whole Foods and some sprouts to go along with it. And I still have some pita bread in the fridge, so I'm gonna make my favorite curried tofu salad sandwich for a quick lunch before I go for a massage too. All right, let me show you the grocery haul. Okay, here's the big view of it. Oh, I also wanted to mention to y'all that my next YouTuber purchase, I'm gonna get myself a microphone so that I have better sound quality in some of my videos where I'm taping myself in different rooms. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna get myself a microphone soon. Okay, so I did go to two stores. I went to Whole Foods and to Kroger today, but I would say I got the majority of this from Kroger. I spent $280, just over $200 at Kroger and over $70 at Whole Foods but really kind of restocking the house with all sorts of things, not just the food. So we were down to our last roll of toilet paper. Got a case of toilet paper. I also got a bunch of Father's Day cards and June birthday cards. That right there, I think, was $30 of this shop. Got some of the Kroger sparkling water. I went back to the good old lemon-lime flavor. Simon and I, I know that we like that flavor. We've experimented with some of the other ones that we didn't like so well. So some lemon-lime sparkling water. Poopy bags for the dog. We needed shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, body lotion, some of my natural deodorant. So those are all of household kind of toiletry things which do add up on the grocery bill. Over here, restocking pantry items, I stocked up on two kinds of soy milk, the West soy and then the Eden soy, which is what I use for yogurt making. And I heard a great tip for yogurt making for people who don't have a yogurt maker. I'm going to try this, and if it works, I will do a video. And hopefully I'll have a really easy way to make yogurt without a yogurt maker soon. Stay tuned for that. Over here is the potato area. A bunch of these recipes, I'm making a potato salad, a Nequas salad. So uh, the cheddar broccoli soup has potatoes. So I ended up having to get um, russet potatoes, red potatoes, fingerling potatoes, which include blue potatoes, little baby red potatoes. So I have a whole pile of potatoes there. Also in the produce area, I have scallions, lemons, broccoli, a big bag of Fuji, I think they're Fuji apples, fresh cilantro, fresh parsley, a big head of romaine lettuce, a big head of red leaf lettuce, we're going to do plenty of salads this week, two red onions, two shallots, three corn in the husk, corn on the cob, some of that fresh corn is going to be used in the corn and potato salad, some carrots, a bunch of bananas. I'm still enjoying smoothies in the morning for myself. Frozen items, two bags of leaf spinach, which you just cannot find down here in the south. They have all chopped spinach, but at least uh, Whole Foods has leaf spinach, so I buy it when I can find it. Some French style green beans, which are gonna go in the Niqua salad. Some edamame for the sushi salad some frozen corn, two new uh, things of the Ezekiel English muffins, which Simon takes for breakfast. And over here I have two cheeky containers of Ben & Jerry's non-dairy, the Chunky Monkey and the Coffee Caramel Fudge, which are my top two favorite flavors of the original four non-dairy. I have not tasted the new non-dairy flavors yet. They haven't really made it 
to Kroger yet in Memphis. So I just wanted that. It's definitely been getting hot in the 80s, high 80s every day here. So we're moving into summertime food. Stocked up on more pantry items over here. We have oats, some agave, some organic blueberry juice. I've started a little vitamin regimen. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video. But I've been taking this lecithin, which you have to mix in with some juice. Some grapeseed oil, a couple of salad dressings call for a little bit of light oil. Grapeseed oil, balsamic vinegar, rice vinegar, some Kalamata olives, capers, one can of pinto beans, one can of garbanzo beans, the fresh made peanut butter just with peanuts, bulk flax seeds, I like to grind flax seeds and put those in my smoothies, four containers of tofu, we like to do stir fries with leftover veggies and I've been adding some tofu to my morning smoothies to make them thicker, creamier, high protein and last longer. I put a half a package of tofu, maybe I'll do a video about how I've been making my morning smoothies. I got some vegan Parmesan cheese, a cucumber, fresh ginger, fresh chives, some grape tomatoes, and over here is our few non-vegan items. I did stock up on cheese for Simon. He still eats cheese on his toast. I got some camembert, smoked gouda, and a herbed brie type cheese that was on sale at Kroger. And then I also found these tree-lined nut cheeses, which are vegan, and they're kind of like a fancy cream cheese spread. These were on sale for $1.99 at my Kroger, the one across from Whole Foods. This is such a good deal. These are normally priced at $7.99. Look at this. Was $7.99. So I got two different flavors. I got the herb garlic and the scallion flavor. So I'm gonna try those nut cheeses on some Ezekiel toast. I have a bunch of leftover Ezekiel bread that hopefully made it through the storm. And then last but not least, I bought these hot and spicy sprout mix and my beautiful curried tofu salad from Whole Foods for my lunch today. That is the post power outage grocery haul, restocking the house with fresh foods, household items, and getting back to normal here. Hope you enjoyed a look at our groceries. I will be back this evening to show you our first healthy homemade meal post storm. This was my delicious lunch with that curried tofu salad, which can't see much of the curried tofu. And I added some lettuce leaves that actually made it through the storm in the refrigerator, toasted up some pita, added those hot and spicy sprouts and chopped up an apple to go with my lunch. Hi friends, we are back for dinner time and we're making our chickpea quinoa salad for dinner. It's very hot and muggy here in Memphis, so it's going to be nice to be eating lots of salads this summer. I'll definitely share with you whenever I can something that's kind of a quick and easy recipe that you could throw together yourselves. So in our big salad bowl, we have, it's hard to tell, but we have a big base of romaine lettuce. Maybe two-thirds of the bowl is chopped romaine. We have some chopped red onion. We have some chickpeas. These I cooked uh, homemade chickpeas in the pressure cooker. You can easily just chuck in a can of chickpeas, drain and rinsed. And we have a bunch of cooked quinoa, about two cups worth of cooked quinoa. I'm also going to add a bunch of these hot and spicy sprouts that I got at Whole Foods today that I had on my curried tofu pita sandwich for lunch. And these were actually really cheap or on sale. I think it's because most people don't want the hot and spicy, but I don't know, I didn't think they were that spicy. They're, you know, have a bite to them, but I'm gonna chuck in a bunch of sprouts into our salad. And then I have one 
batch, which made almost two cups of a homemade cashew-based balsamic vinaigrette dressing. And I will link down below for you to healthy vegan balsamic vinaigrette recipes. You can just Google and you can put any, you can use a bottle of vinaigrette dressing and it'll be just as wonderful in the salad. So we're gonna mix this all together. I'm gonna dish it up. I'll show you the final product and that is dinner tonight. Homemade, healthy, vegan food. We have fresh groceries and power in our house. I am so grateful for this <laughs> delicious, healthy dinner. I will show you the final product. Here's the finished product, all mixed together with my delicious cashew-based balsamic dressing. But any balsamic dressing will do. And we dished up two servings. This recipe is from Appetite for Reduction. So trying to be healthy, whole food, very low oil, and a little bit concerned about your calories, which I am. I am trying to lose weight. So as I dish this up, even though 